Hello everybody, my name is Shredtex and welcome back to Star Setter. I've just been minding my own business, flying through the galaxy, pillaging and murdering people as pirates normally do. And apparently some enemy fleet thinks they can take me on. Now, I don't know why, because they didn't seem that strong to me, but I feel like we should fight them, but probably not deploy our entire navy, just to see how it goes. Uh, also, can I even say murder on YouTube anymore? Hopefully it's okay. <laughs> if it's not okay, well, damn it. Ah, it's because I didn't have my comms, uh, my transponder on. Well, they've messed up because they can't escape me now. <laughs> they've attracted my attention and they will they will be punished for that. So they actually have themselves free astrals, which is quite cool. That's going to be a lot of fighter base. But at the same time, they can't really defend themselves against really anything like my battleship. So let's see how it goes. And let's just deploy our forces and go from there. Now, of course, I am a little bit low on money right now. We spent a bit last episode. I need to try and get myself a little bit more cash. We can spend some more on building new buildings and carnies, but we'd try and do that on the way over to invading more territory. I'm sure it'd be fine. Anyway, so hopefully, the only thing I'm a bit worried about, the amount of carriers they have, what if they just swarm? <laughs> what if there's just like 40 bomber wings just to descend on my poor vessel and just completely destroy it? Well, Lucy, we'll <laughs> there's only one way to find out, and that is by just seeing what happens. I feel so bad for these guys sometimes. I do actually give myself, uh, I, I did it at the side anyway. I get some of my point defense, if you zoom in a little bit, is these sharpshooters, which kind of like more of a single target anti fighter kind of thing. So, what, what are you doing? <laughs> back up, man. He, he wants to go through. No, stay back. Don't you do it. Damn it, man. <laughs> My allies are kind of like, uh, are they really on my side? That's what I always like want to think while I'm fighting with them. So, enemy spotted. They have a lot of mechs as well, which could be a little bit scary. Um, was, oh, they got... They have how many squall locker launchers? They got six. <laughs> wow. I don't know if my point defense can even take care of all that many missiles. I guess we'll have to find out. But I'm probably going to go with no. Oh, it's, it's doing okay. I'm only being shot by one of them, though, so it's not like I'm being hit by all three. Oh no, I can't handle that. That is too many missiles for me. I guess the good news is that they only have a set amount of missiles. I think it's 120. So I don't know how many attacks that is. But eventually, they run out. That is really bad though. <laughs> okay. Are you okay? He's not okay. Let's try and get these guys killed before they um, just spam me to death with millions of missiles. Out my way. Out my way. Out my... Stop it, man. You just broke the bottom of my ship. How dare you? Oh, it's not good at all. Oh no, the, the the flux. The flux! Okay, that's not good. <laughs> Turns out shooting uh, 200 missiles at an enemy is a good way of breaking their shields. It should be okay, I've got a few seconds left. My uh, The guy that nearly ruined my ship can go and get himself killed, hopefully. I'm not being passive aggressive at all. <laughs> In fact, engage command eliminates. No, Jackie. <laughs> How dare you! I will make sure you die. Yeah, this is a bit of a problem though. Um, I presume they're like halfway through the missiles by now, but I think if I just stay at range, I could probably kill one of them with my long range weapon. So we just get a little bit closer and we just shoot away. So as you can see, every time I fire my main gun, it absolutely ravages their shields. So it shouldn't be too long to actually get rid of one of these guys. I don't think they got much armor either. It's not really a frontline combat ship. Yeah, it's going down already. Perfect. Keep firing. Oh, I, can't, I want to hit the same angle though, otherwise we're not going to have to go for the armor again. Oh. Wait, where did my shield go? Did I, have not, did I not have the shield on the entire time? I thought it was online. <laughs> hmm. I may have made a slight mistake there. It's fine. I think they seem quite distracted right now. We have kind of like encircled them, but we only have like four ships. I'm pretty impressed by that at this point. Well, some of missiles. Are they sabots? Oh, that was kind of terrifying. But luckily for me, I got a lot of shield capacity in the first place. So, so they have defeated my shields, I think. We're okay. We're a okay. <laughs> Let's just hope the point defense can. Look how cool this point defense is, by the way. We are literally Battlestar Glattering right now. I don't need shields. I'll just kill anything that's nearby. Ooh. That was not my intention, but I just captured a sensor relay. Okay, this main target is going to hopefully go down at some point. Let's move it a little further. Oh no, these guys are anti-shield. They've got rocket launchers that shoot like EMP bazookas. Oh, right, there you go, you can see it right there. What an annoying enemy. We are about to kill one of them though. There you go. One, now one's dead, it should be a, a lot easier to deal with these guys. So the amount of fighters are pretty scary. 
quit. Oh! <gasps> Who are you? Where did he come from? Why was he not venting? Why was he not phasing? <laughs> he was just sitting there. That is a phase ship, right? No, it's not. It's no, it is. Why did it not phase away, guys? That's a bit confusing. Well, it's in trouble now, so I'm just going to sit on it until its phase runs out. Unless it gets away from me. Oh, it's totally screwed. It, it can't escape both of us. You've messed up, son. As at this moment, he knew that he effed up. I can't say the word in case uh, bad times are over. Now. I did say there was a video of somebody trying to make a new swear word on YouTube, which is also a compliment at the same time. Just called YouTube. <laughs> so I, I may pick that up. You never know. Okay, let's see. So, we go for this. Ooh. I don't think I want those carriers, to be honest. So, we will ignore that. I'm pretty sure I also made a profit from that one as well. But we have a lot of random stuff in inventory right now, which is okay, I guess. I do need some more money, though, because we already know this from last episode. I, I need the money to actually upgrade stuff. I think I mentioned to start the episode as well. So, the question is what we're going to be. Shall I go and just do that? If I go over to Sark, I can sell stuff. Problem is, you can't. There's not really enough volume to sell enough to actually make a good profit here. Hmm. Sell twenty thousand <laughs> or, but it's only at twenty. It's only. It's not. Even though the value is amazing there, like oh, I can sell twenty thousand things at an increased price. It's still only twenty pound per unit, so it's still a bit dead to be honest. Um, we'll see. I can also sell this guy if I want to as well. Doesn't match your money. We'll see. At the moment, I don't actually need money. Particularly, like, very pressing. I do need it in the long run, but not. it's not, like, going to end the world if I don't get money right now. We are making a profit each month, so it shouldn't be too bad. Let's have a quick look at this station, shall we? So, what is this place? It's got a patrol HQ, blah, blah, blah. Light industry, mining, all the I reckon we go for this guy. We can take him out. I'm, I'm just doing it to weaken my... I, I'm literally... There's nothing really stopping me. I'm just going through and killing everything. So <laughs> I'll just continue going through and just making everyone's uh, nation smaller and smaller and mine larger and larger. Probably a bit overkill deploying that many ships, to be honest. Especially because this is a level one station. It hasn't even got level two. It's a, it's a pretty small one. Be, don't kill yourself, man. Be careful. Be careful. I don't know if the shield actually gets stronger on these stations as it gets to a higher rank. Or oh, you you're actually dying. I've never seen the mech get killed. This is the first time. I don't know how that's even happened, to be honest. Okay, the shield seems a lot weaker because we've already got to the point where it's about to get overloaded. And then I'm also at the point where I'm going to get overloaded as well. Back, 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 back. You again? <laughs> Damn it, man. It's always him. Okay, if we focus on that station there, we can actually shoot through the gap in the shield right now. That's not too late to do that. Okay, I'm going to keep going back. Let's do, uh, get rid of some of our problems with Lux. Also, as we have lost my friend there, let's also call in the battleship to help us out as well. Don't mind me. Uh oh, they can hit me from... <laughs> Damn it, man! The range! The range of those lasers is crazy. Okay. Shame we can't bypass this and hit the actual shield module. That'd be a lot better, but... It is what it is. Okay, let's just focus on the left-hand side. We're we'll trying to take down this little Tachyon Lance location here. And when the backup shows as well, we should get another very high-powered anti-shield thing going on. Oh, I was poor. I thought I was still playing. My bad. God, why does the AI always focus on station spells? <laughs> why? They don't do anything. They're just there. They have no redeeming features or uses. Oh, this is great. I think I might actually be able to kill it before that station module flies around. We can keep trying to go around to the left and see if we can kill it quickly. Oh, wait, better idea. The module's available. Come on, kill the module. Let's, let's go a bit faster, shall we? Oh no, it's, it's going to attack <laughs> the biggest ship of all. It did kind of look like it was deploying for a while there. It looked like it was going to come and try and take me out. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh, it's yeah, so tanky. I don't know if it's even worth it, to be honest. I think just attacking the module in itself will probably be quicker. 
look how much stuff this guy has. He has so many flat cannons. I don't think they're doing anything against the shield really, but this looks pretty cool. It's like the shotgun. It's a shotgun ship. Oh, I lost another ship as well. Wait, really? How? He must have got killed by this single thing. That's interesting. Anyway, I think we definitely made, lost money on that one because I lost um, a ship, so it's not going to be too good for us. But it's, it's okay. Oh, it's my old one. Oh, interesting. 180. It's probably going to cost that to actually repair it, so I definitely don't think we money money there. Invade. Easy. Receive of invasion. Not really anything to worry about. Let's deploy the big ones. So this time I'm not actually going to bombard them first because it means we can quickly use the defenses again to help us out when it comes to defending the base instead. Auto move. I do need myself some more... Sorry, to sneeze. I need myself some more marines though. So we'll see if we can get some from Garn. The tactical sneeze. Yeah, because I want to see a situation where we get loads of allies everywhere. Like, actual, my own faction flying around would be pretty awesome. Now, do they not sell? Oh, they don't actually even sell. That sucks. How much do I get for this, by the way? £4 per unit. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot of money. I'm joking, by the way. It's not a lot of money. It's awful. Kind of sad this place hasn't got any marines. I wonder if Port Royale does, because it has got a military base. I'm oh, it's not working though, is it? It's still out of the picture for another 179 days. Only, uh, only that long. That's not long at all. Oh, now that that's working again, Freeport. Do you know what? I should probably just put Freeport on all my say. I know it's like I'm worried about the stability, but at the end of the day, it'd be fine. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, this guy's actually reached um, zero. What's it called? Zero. I can't think right now. Stability. That's amazing. So that means he's going to start making money again soon. Well, I don't know about making money, but he, he, he'll do something. And this guy is actually the one I was building a privateer base at. Wait, disrupted. That means someone's been over there and it's been attacking it, which is a bit annoying. Or it might have been from the rebellion. The rebellion might have knocked it out. I do need stuff. Give it to me. Give it to me. Wow, that was the pathetic. <laughs> How did you guys even manage to attack so little? Pretty impressive. A sack of victory, very nice. We get our stuff back. I'll grab it right now. We also make sure this one's automated as well. So I literally just cannot deal with it at the moment. There's also the counter invasion force has already arrived, so it should be in sight at some point. Before I leave though, let me just grab everything. Probably a good idea to do. Is if we actually give them the food. Do they need food and stuff? No, they don't. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to shut it down. Which will give me enough money, only just, to replace it with a void extraction, which makes everything. So it will make itself some money at some point. And I think apart from that, I am happy here. Oh wait, even though I didn't do tactical barbarment, it's still going to take 175 days. Okay, well, whatever then. I'll just bombard all the worlds. <laughs> it's a ridiculous amount of time. Um, okay, so, you are now autonomous. Congratulations. We waited for a little bit. The extra cargo is a big problem, though. I probably should just put some somewhere. So this guy, what does this guy, guy reco recover? Uh, need, he needs food and organics. Let's give that over. And that gets rid of my problem with the amount of people I have as well. Oh, I can't even do that. Okay, well, <laughs> hopefully the game uses it. I'm not sure if they will, but you never know. Okay, where's this fleet then? Where is the fleet? If that was the fleet, that'd be hilarious. Is that the fleet? No, that's too small. They must be around here somewhere. Oh, I forgot about that. There's a com relay. Okay, while we're waiting for the enemy to show up, let's just grab the com relay. Give us a little bit of a boost. That must be it. Why, hello there. Was that the Paragon? I think it's called a Paragon. I don't really fight that often. You guys probably can tell. <laughs> is it a Paragon? It is! I know things. Perfect. Okay. Um. 
Try that. We'll kill these guys quickly and we'll move on to our next. I think there was one more world in the system that we can actually capture. Though like I said, the Marines are getting pretty low, so I need to get some more from somewhere. Shame that I don't think any of my bases actually produce Marines yet. I think it was to do with one of the buildings. I think it's probably the military base one. But I will get them eventually. Oh no. <laughs> so screwed. Yeah, that guy didn't have a chance. Okay. Where's the big one? I want to see the parrot. There it is. I think this guy is pretty scary, but it, is it scarier than this? Probably not. So we'll see how it goes. I, I keep forgetting about how slow it is to actually move the turrets. I'm actually going to move the entire ship just so it fires. Okay. Yeah, probably uh, advanced turret drivers might be a good shout at some point. But I think I've already used up all my buildings anyway. And also it's kind of a waste of a building to be honest. But... Okay, he's got some long range weapons he's shooting me with. But I can mostly just do this to avoid it. Okay, let's give it a shot. TTS long haul. Yeah, this might take a little bit of a time to get through this guy's shield. He's also got he's also got like a full shield as well. It's covering the entire thing. Interesting. Oh, tachyon lances. It's okay at the moment because I got really low flux, but if my flux gets too high, it's gonna cause me a lot of problems. Oh, it's just oh they're front mounted. Interesting. Poor guy, he's like, what do I do? I like how... Wait, does he have a damage reduction on the shield? It seems to change colour every once in a while. It's pretty cool. It's definitely a very circle ship, though. It's, it's like anti every situation, like every enemy it could possibly come across. <laughs> no matter where you are, it's going to be hitting you with something. Okay, it's taking a little bit of time, but this guy will be killed shortly. So yeah, this ship really cannot hold a candle to our current ones, so... Very nice. I don't know, in base game though, people know what's better. Is it a Paragon or an Onslaught? I'm kind of curious. I've never seen that matchup before, so I don't know who would come out on top. And the dead. Perfect. That wasn't that bad. Um, let's just do a quick pursuit. Hopefully we get what I want. I forgot that was there. And it's fully repaired. Oh, that's a mistake. <laughs> that should have been mothballed. Nice. Okay, enemy down. Let's go over here quickly. Babylon has leveled up as well to level uh, 5, which means we can literally put an extra thing on it. So what do you guys reckon we need at the moment? We do seem to be lacking a lot of, like, random materials. So I do think this is a money-making one. This guy's opportunity is to make money. That's what he's here for. So I do think a void extractor would be a good idea. Because it makes everything. It literally makes all the resources. Well, not all of them. But it makes any, it makes a lot of resources here. It actually gets volatiles as well. I reckon this would be a good shout. Just to give us more um, generalized goods. So there's also refining we can consider as well. I had to think about it. I do, Oh, we got two slots, haven't we? Eventually, let's get to level six. I can do it again. So we can have, um, at least for now, the void to get rid of the deficit of volatiles. And then afterwards, we can do refining so we can make some more, what's it called? Concrete and something else. I can't remember the other one. Uh, Voltronics or something like that. I think it was <laughs> Voltron. I'm just making names up at this point. That's not a real thing, is it? It might be, actually. <laughs> uh, where am I looking? It was... There it is. Transplutonics. That was it, guys. I'm pretty sure it's called Transplutonics. That's what the other thing was that it makes. Okay, so... Oh, that's the wrong place. Oh, it's on the way. Okay, let's go over this way. We have Port Royale, which I think is doing pretty well at this point. It's got itself a lot of stuff going for it. It's making full money as well. But it's a shame about the uh, very long amount of time to get the other stuff going. Also, it's still upgrading to heavy industries as well, which is pretty cool. And it's making tons of uh, minerals and stuff, which is pretty wild. Now, I don't know what else I could do with this one. Maybe we just give it some... I've got a bunch of stuff left over at this point. I'll give it that, just so it can just process its own stuff. It, I, I, just to get, get my... Um, costing down a little bit. I need to sell this at some point, but I just don't know where. 
They have a lot of ore right now. That's absolutely insane. I am very tempted just to grab this, but it's going to cost a lot of money. But I mean, we have a lot of stuff we can fly around with, but probably we'll leave it. We'll leave it. Okay, the last world. I think this one's a bit of a dud, to be honest. I don't think it's got any redeeming features or anything, but let's have a quick look anyway. It hasn't even got a defense base. It's only got 120 militia here, so this is not a good place, really. Is this an is this a operative? Yeah. <laughs> I, I do want one Monday, but maybe not now. So if I quickly go and look at what this thing actually is. Mining and refining. It has some pretty bad stuff going for it, though. It's, it's a pretty bad world, to be fair. But we'll just make it into an auto one anyway. It'll be fine. So we'll take it over quickly. Reckon we can just get away with deploying... We deploy more than one. How much does it cost to deploy? 64 supplies. It's like, yeah, we'll speed things up. I always have got to sit around for no reason. We just deploy three sets of units. They quickly win all three battles, and we can just move on from the system. Hopefully they don't counter invade, though, because that'd be a bit of a pain to go and deal with that as well. I'm not seeing any counter invasion, so it looks like we might be okay. More ore! Hooray! <laughs> Yay! What? I got so much ore! Oh, God! I got so much stuff in my inventory right now as well. There's too much. Do you know what, guys? I'll give it to your stockpile. It's fine. There you go. Problem solved. Now, random guy. You are in control of this. This is literally just the sake of me taking over the galaxy, by the way. Oh, wrong one. I don't care about that. I'm going to hope that the AI deals with its own rebellion problems from that one. <laughs> Let's hope that that works out. I do know that AI, my allies, send relief fleet sometimes. I don't know if my own faction will send a relief fleet. I don't know if that will work or not. I hope it does. We've got a lot of rebellions right now, that's for sure. Now, oh, they're invading my system from Volsage. Let's probably go over there and just take them out ourselves. So was there anything on the way over we want to be doing? And if I go and look at I quickly, there was the massive selling of goods, wasn't there? Let's see if I can go and do that. So that's apparently nearby. Apparently, it's not there. Is this one? Yes. Let's go there manually. We'll fly over. We'll see if we can do some smuggling. What is this? Who are you? Yeah, I'm not letting you. I'm not letting you just block my station, sir. That's not going to happen. <laughs> I refuse. I will kill you guys as well. Yeah, I think this. I do feel like the um, this faction is probably one of the weaker ones, but I don't know in terms of base game. I always find the Sindarians ones the hardest because they had the conquest, which I thought was way a way better battleship than the other two. But maybe it's just a personal preference kind of thing. But I've always liked the idea of like big old gun broadsword ships. They do seem to do pretty well in combat as well. Oh, they got some kind of mine deployer, which is deploying mines behind my ship, which is a bit terrifying. Um, who's doing that? Must be this guy. I was gonna say, why is it not <laughs> why is it not phasing? Just letting me kill it. Okay, they're at the back. I'm a bit concerned about those mines. I need to find out who's deploying that. It might be this guy, because I don't really remember fighting him. Oh, it's Flux! We can kill him! Apply pressure! Oh, it did definitely get rid of the Flux with though. That took no time at all. But I will keep on him, though. I'll get him out of the way. My other battleship can take care of theirs. Pretty good job. Oh, these missiles are so annoying. But there's only one of them, so most missiles are not even hitting me at this point. They're kind of just missing. This guy is a pain, isn't he? Do you know what? We should probably just... We may leave him. We'll see how this battle goes here. Yeah, it's going to take too long. Let's go for the asteroid instead. I need like a fast ship to take him on, or I need a fighter one to take him on. One of the two. Probably should go for the easier one first, but we've really got through the flux of rebels already. We 
was a lot of them. Oh, I lost... I lost the... Oh, it's only a destroyer. I shouldn't be too surprised. He's been damaged again. Maybe it was from the last battle, because he has full... He has full armor. Maybe it's just he hasn't repaired his HP from last time. <laughs> I was going to say, I've never seen that mech fail, and then all of a sudden it's like getting wrecked. It's a bit, it's a bit strange to me, but... I I haven't changed anything since I've been recording for the last 10 episodes. It's all exactly the same settings and stuff, so... Nearly there. Where's my battleship? It's attacking a little thing. Oh, I'm actually being overwhelmed. Let's pull back a little bit. Ah, oh, he has those uh, pulse lasers, which are a little bit more dps -y than the attacking lances are. Yeah, these, <laughs> they can't even get close. Oh, they are now, though. Hold! Of the cool flak when you just destroy stuff. I think Battlestar Galactica is always imprinted in my mind how cool flak is. I absolutely love how cool it looks. I hope it's in games like Falling Frontier and stuff when that comes out. I could not wait to play that game. Especially because it looks so good as well. It's going to be one of the best looking RTSs. Probably, I. Yeah, I'm just going to say it's going to be one of the best looking RTSs. There's no doubt about that. I mean, seeing that it's got to deal with stuff such as. Um, what else is new? Copy of Heroes 3, which kind of looks the same as the old one. I did play it. It's pretty fun, but it's still the same as the old one. And uh, Age of Empires 4, that looks like it's from 20 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's going to win in the old graphics department, that's for sure. But what kind of game is Falling Frontier even going to be, though? Because we're still not... It's going to be a slow paced one, we know that. But, like, how much in-depth is it going to be? We don't know. <laughs> Do I have to micromanage every single ship and I have, like, 100 of them? Or is it going to be AI settings as well? Let's hope it's the latter, by the way. I do not want to have to micromanage, like, 20 mining ships. It's going to drive me crazy, but we'll see. That looked pretty scary. Go away, though. Okay, so that enemy has been killed as well. Yeah, it wasn't really on the agenda, but he disappeared out of nowhere. Hopefully we made a profit when it comes to supplies. We may have. What? How is this still going on? What's... Oh, they're killing a random... Aurora. Ah... Done. My poor destroyer. He was so young. That's okay. I nearly for a second didn't bother even checking this, so I would have lost it. That would have been a bit of a nightmare. 401. Probably made a profit with the damage. Who knows, though. Done. My system is safe and I'm moving on. Smuggler. Smuggler. I always find it weird smugglers. I always actually struggled getting to attack them. Oh no, it's a tight. Every like month, I just get spammed by tons of requests for peace. Really annoying. Oh, we're way too over with supplies. Let's get rid of some concrete. I am about to sell loads of stuff, by the way. We are actually about to deal with this in a second. Oh, the Imperium. I still forget they're in this gate. The Imperium has like such a, a small presence in this entire ep um entire series. They've like not done anything. They just, they're just hanging out in their little base and that's been it. Pretty much it. So where's the system we're going to? It's this one. Now I should put the transponder on because I'm not at war with them. I can just go and train the black market without having to hide. And if they get annoyed with me, I'll blow them up. It really doesn't matter. Okay. Nice. Nice. Uh, I really hope they want some of this. Should we just sell them anyway? At least some of them. Give me some more money. It was pretty cheap anyway. I'll just sell them when it's a good price. Anything else? Got that. Whatever that thing is. Got some food. I think that's the majority of it. I mean, if you look at my car capacity right now, it, been, it has been fixed. So, And they've got enough to build probably one building. Oh, while I'm here, I'll grab some more marines. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Am I suspicious? Yes. Extremely. Thanks for that. I appreciate it. Okay, so... Oh, look. There is that invasion. I say we go to the base directly and just kill them before I even get too close. Um, let's go to the free port, actually, because I can teleport as well. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I do need more supplies, actually. So maybe we just fly through hyperspace instead. We can maybe get some stuff I want. How did they know it was me? <laughs> a fleet appeared, and all of a sudden there was like 20,000 tons of ore appeared. <laughs> it's, like, ah, it's a coincidence at best. It's nothing to do with me. 
They can't, they can't prove anything. What is this? Is this a pirate armada? It's like that. But the pirate's my friend, so it's fine. Seven days until arrival. I don't think I'm going to make it in time. Let's go over there anyway. And let's hope that we also find some traders on the way, because my supplies are at really, really low right now. I'm not going to find any of my... Oh. Yep, I'm going to have to get some supplies from all my carnies. It's a bit annoying, but it is what it is. The show must go on, though. We could probably scooch off some of the... We'll kill that base thing first. How did they get this? What the hell? Well, that's annoying. <laughs> I was going to say something else there. Why do they own those? They're not even in the system. Ah, that's just taking the, that's just taking the piss, guys. Not good at all. I'm here for mercy. I, I need more marines. We will have a lot of marines. Excellent. Give them to me. So, where are they going to come from? I probably should be waiting outside, actually. So, they're going to... They're, they're traveling here. If I leave again, we'll catch them outside if I can. It would be easier to... I haven't got to travel as far. That was like, oh, yes. Oh, never mind. Is that them? Hello? Oh, that's Andy. <laughs> right there. They haven't even got a capital ship. Oh dear. Yeah, the uh, the size of these invasion fleets have really gone downhill. Probably because I'm taking over all their land. Um, I guess we can just go in, but probably don't need to deploy a lot. Just deploy like this, maybe? That'll probably work. Oh, and the mech as well. We, we won't leave the mech out. Poor mech. Has he been repaired yet? Okay, he's definitely full HP this time. If he's like half dead in the battle, something weird is going on. He's changed his AI again. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, it's changed how I play. I wish... Oh, it got him! Oh, I can't believe that! Oh, this guy is so screwed. I'm waiting until your flux runs out. You're not getting away from this. You are dead. It's over for you. <laughs> Oh, that must be terrifying. Um, okay. There's only one big ship. I'll go and kill it myself to make sure it doesn't kill my friends. And that, that is this enemy down. I've probably got to be careful with this guy flanking me. I'll try and keep it on my side. Luckily all my weapons are turreted anyway, so we can attack from different directions. Why is he just letting me attack him with flax cannons? <laughs> Eventually he'll die from that. What if I just switch damage quickly? He might just... No, he knows. He knows. <laughs> yeah, it takes a while. Always takes a while to actually push through the damage of uh, the armor of these guys. We'll get there eventually, though. Oh, we're through already. That's quick. I guess I am a battle cruiser. It's not like I'm using a smaller ship. No. Show me your belly. Show me the belly. Can my flux hold out for this entire battle? I'm a bit, getting a bit concerned about it. I don't think I can. Okay, I'm going to back up. I know it's any dead, but I don't want to take damage unnecessarily. I mean, even just turning the shield off massively increases my flux region anyway, so... And he's dead. Perfect. There's some guys below me, I think, but we have pretty much sorted this one out as well. Where are they? There they are. Yeah, I do think in the future, though, when I, if I do have a series in the future, uh, which we will do eventually, probably when the game gets another update, hopefully. It may even be the finish update, you never know. I probably will not use factions like the one I'm using right now, the anime one, because they, they're not on the main mod page. It's not finished yet, apparently. But this faction is definitely more powerful than the rest, and uh, I do like it when it's a little bit more balanced, personally. I mean, I know there was a, there was a really cool mod, maybe they could make it into one of the um, boss factions that I did in the past, Well, I think it was like the Templars or something, and they were designed to be the boss faction. Like, they were better than your ships in like every way. What is happening with the screen right now? What have I done? To such a, <laughs> oh, it's like, I've done something weird. 
Oh, what, I've like broken everything. The cameras. <laughs> oh no! Oh, the game just shut. Oh no, it's back to normal now. Windows 11, guys, is a nightmare. Okay, I'm gonna put it out there. The amount of, I think it's like designed to advertisement for companies. It continually just spams me of random stuff while I'm recording. It's really annoying. Okay, done. It's definitely a very corporate version of Windows. Let's put it that way. Even more than before. It was already pretty corporate. Oh. Oh, it's so close. It's going to get away, I think. Finish here. He's, he's out of there. He's out. Let's not waste any more time on that. Let's keep moving. Okay, so this base, this enemy has been destroyed as well, which is pretty handy. Enemy down. We got some supplies back. Hopefully it's enough for me to go and get some from my base. Pirates, kill the rest. <laughs> they are pretty handy. Um, okay, so I'm going to go over to the gate and let's teleport back to my main base. We can grab some supplies there. Also, we can check on the progress of the military base as well. But I do want to upgrade it twice. Um, to military commander, the, the the biggest level, the one that actually deploys into intergalactic fleets and stuff. Even though I don't really have anything when it comes to blueprints, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Okay, so I'm also probably gonna. It's a bit awkward because I'm gonna lose money, aren't I? We'll see what happens. We'll see what's going on over here first. Okay, so Tortuga. Well, I'm here as well. Let me just quickly double check. What is going on with Babylon? Has it built its thing yet? Oh, I didn't do it. Uh... Let's wait a little bit in case I can afford the military upgrade. That would be probably better for me to get in terms of defenses. Because that means my fleets will, my perhaps will defend themselves with pretty bad but useful fleets. So, I'm here. Funny info, it has 70 days left to, it's going to take ages, never mind then. <laughs> it's got a long way to go. I guess in the interim then we will install the increase in income. we got some money left over as well. So I'm going to use that to grab myself some more supplies. I can probably grab quite a lot. I can grab loads. That'll keep me going for a while. <laughs> so there's 2,000 there. More weapons as well. I don't want to grab too much, but that should uh, increase my firepower by quite a bit. I'm, at this point, I'm pretty sure I can just kill any world with, in terms of invasions. I'm pretty sure we're that strong now. So, awesome. Wait, do I have supplies in my locker? Domestic. It's a bit random. Anything else? I have a lot of stuff in here, by the way. I forgot about this. I probably should sell that somewhere. And this as well. Okay, let's grab those fellas. We can sell them somewhere in the future. I guess I'll just get rid of these guys as well. Those. So much random weapons I've picked up now. I can see why I accidentally gave that away. I probably skipped on it by mistake. Oh, I also got the key card as well. We can get rid of it at some point. If we need cash. I guess there is a way you can convert it into act oops and into actual blueprints, but it probably requires you being friendly with the faction, I'm gonna imagine. You never know though. Okay, sorted. Let's go to our next target, shall we? I like how my allies have my die boy Vinox literally defending all my lands right now. Wait a minute. Did I not just see them a few seconds ago in the other system? How did they get over here so quickly? <laughs> Magic. It's how bad is this? It's not actually doing... It's doing a little bit of damage to my worlds. I'm... It's not not worthy of it. I'll leave it. Okay, let's go and attack... Probably this one first. Let's go over here. Oh, also, before oh, I'm here, have I actually got to the point where I can actually use a reverse-engineered blueprint yet? Have a look. Uh, where would that be? Where would I find that thing? I don't know if I can tell from there. If I go here, though. We still haven't got anything. Okay, but eventually, when it goes down that massive list, there is another griffin, right? 
yeah, no, is there? Wait, where's the list? Griffin, 13%. So we will eventually unlock the Griffin blueprint, even if it's going to take absolutely ages. <laughs> it's a very, very long process. It takes literally decades. No, definitely not. I think, uh, am I actually about to kill that faction? So I'm going to go and take down these two bits here. North Point and uh, Vosslage. Is that the last of their little empire? Apparently they got 35 populations, so no. Uh, population, by the way, if you have like a size 6 colony, that would be 6 populations. So there's a lot of them. There is a lot of them left alive somewhere in the map. That's not real, is it? That's not, it's not real. Ooh, what's that? Is that a um, trading convoy? <gasps> nice. Save me some problems. Ah, oh, I feel kind of bad. Grab oh, I feel bad grabbing all that stuff now, but <laughs> I have a lot of supplies. That should last us to the um, next episode. Well, the rest of this episode, the next episode as well. So that should be us sorted out for that. Very handy. Nice. Okay. But he was gonna keep an eye out for traders. Now, North Point and the other one. We could probably capture every place in this location. What do they have again? Oh, we can capture everything but the roads road command. Let's go for these smaller ones first, because I can probably do both at the same time. Let's do two invasion forces. I don't have they got a station? They do. Okay, let's kill that guy. Anything of interest? No. There's nothing interesting here. It's a low-tech station. I'm sorry, guys. It's over for you. I think I don't know what DPS, so... But my ship designs are normally based off sustained warfare, so that's why they're not the most, like, glass canny, but they can always fight for long periods of time, so... <laughs> which I personally prefer. But it's just a personal preference, I guess. I mean, most people in the comments seem to want to just use missiles. Just everyone just has millions of missiles, but you're not even doing anything there. You're not even flying the ship. That's a definitely a personal preference. Can they break my shield? I don't think they can. <laughs> These poor enemies. Gemma got more EMP though. EMP would be pretty handy just to shut down their weapons. There's a guy behind me. A bit concerning. Ooh, be careful, buddy. You're literally just taking damage for no reason there. Oh, they got me. They turn it around in the end. Problem with uh, venting half flux while your shoulder's up, it's very, very slow. So even with the skill, it's still a very, very subtle deal. Uh, I'll go around the right-hand side. We'll go to you. It's fine. Really? No? Yes? Yes? Done. <laughs> oh no, it's coming to attack me! What is this? I guess they got a little bit of defenders. Let's just bombard it anyway, it'll be fine. Um, invade. A lot of companies I have there. That'll be enough. Good luck, guys. I'm going this way. Is it this one as well? Yes. Loot it path. There's more supplies there, but I got enough at this point. We have loads of supplies. We deploy both on this one because I always have to wait here a little bit. Double invasion. <laughs> the most terrifying form of invasion. They actually scanned me? Oh, it's Dive Boy Avionics. Oh. Counter invasion from this own star system. It's probably not going to end very well, because that's where I'm going next. Right, I'm actually making quite a bit of money at this point, if you get rid of the 325 grand from that.
Come on, guys. There you go. One's done. Not a great place, but it's, it's mine. Going through the pace at this point. We have pretty much won the game. <laughs> I don't think there's... It is it's over, guys. We have done this. This is a, a definite dub for us in this. Uh, we have won. The galaxy could not defend against me at this point. Um, I will take both. Nah, do I? What we do? I'll take it. And then we put it in here. Yeah, because what we probably do, guys, I this is gonna because I said I was gonna end it anyway because uh, Sutter was a bit of a weird game to play on YouTube because. It was the, the view time, not, the, the views were quite low for what I'm used to at this point. But also the watch time and click through rate was very high. <laughs> so I think what's happened is, is people enjoy watching it. I don't know if about, this is going to be way later, but this point people already clicked off at this point because uh, it's a bit easy. So it's not like that. In, when it's easy, it's not as exciting, is it? In my opinion. Uh, anyway, so um, yeah, it's really weird because normally you do videos, you have like lower watch time and stuff. This watch time is like 30, 40% better than normal. It's like very, very high watch time and stuff. There just wasn't many views. So I actually think it's a situation where people just aren't watching start the videos. Unless if they do, they don't want to watch a Let's Play. They'd rather watch a um, like a one-off video or something. But yeah, it seems weird. But I also know that the game is not out. The game is just flat out not out yet. So when the game comes out, it'd be awesome. It'd be cool to see if like it does a lot better. Because it's kind of like a hidden gem of video gaming. I'm going to say this game. It's very, very good. It's got a lot of stuff going for it, but it's not on Steam because it's not finished yet. So it's a bit of a, a hidden one. Anyway, uh, common directory, right autonomy, and done. And I think we're going to attack this guy as well. well this, I think this technically does hurt my... If it's connected to my base, I think it actually hurts me anyway, but we'll see what happens. Take that. Thank you. There is a lot of stuff around me right now, but it shouldn't be a problem. Admin size again. <laughs> I'm getting even more stuff. So where's this place I'm attacking over? It's over there. Fosslidge. You know what we'll do next episode? Because I want to do something that's a little bit challenging. Um, so we'll probably go and fight the only faction that can fight me, which is going to be the anime faction. We'll try and take out their home world and stuff. Oh, they were going to attack me for a second. I was like, that's crazy. Star Fortress. These are fun to fight, though. Although, kind of terrifying with the old um, mines. They can just kill anybody, really. <laughs> so, what's here? Before I do anything else, let me just double check. They got a pristine Nano Forge. <gasps> a powerful and versatile manufacturing black box. Capable of building itself out to an industrial scale. Given the necessary raw materials and human assistance. This is definitely a thing we want to grab. And the High Command has a Gamma Core? What hypocrites, everybody. Absolute hypocrites. <laughs> this entire time they've been using AI. So they actually got a, they got a full on battleship to fame in this location, but I think we'll be okay. Um, bum bum bum. Do I need more than that? I think they'll be okay. Oh, uh, we'll deploy more. Why not? I've got loads of supplies at the moment, so why not uh, live a little? We'll live life to the fullest. Go, obsessively last fleet. Oh, don't kill yourself. This happened last time. Don't go into the station and die. Now, I'm going to focus on the station itself to get rid of the mines, because that might kill some of my ships that are not expecting to be hit from behind by teleporty mines. Um, let's go for the big one. Oh, let's go for this closer. Let's go for this one. And I can also attack it from the side as well. Kind of? Dilly? Yeah, I'm doing it. Oh, I don't think I can actually hold off the attack value of this attack, uh, enemy, though. They actually are breaking through me right now. Let's back up a little bit. Oh, no. The guy is here to stop me. It's my anti-retreat ship. It, it never lets me retreat. Oh, we lost the ship already. Oh, I'll start a little frigate. Uh, the carrier frigate. Maybe I should change uh, tax on this one. We'll go for these other ships so everyone starts sacking the station instead. I don't think I can even kill a wolf at this range. It's too far away, isn't it? Yeah, screw that. Let's go for the griffin. I want to get rid of my high flux a little bit. Oh, 
There's the onslaught. I probably should get rid of that as well. Well, it looks like a lot of my allies are going for the station already, which is perfect. This guy's too... Can we get him? Ah, he's going to keep warping away. Unless I overload him, maybe. So... Ah, he's out of there, he's out of there. Okay, let's focus on this onslaught. So it doesn't distract my other allies. But I think that station is screwed though. We are going for it big time. Yep, it's going down. Perfect. I presume as well the Conquest is going to show up at some point. Oh, that guy's very close right now. Go for it. Aha! You fool. Why are there spike bombers here? <laughs> They're definitely not mine. Well, this guy is for some reason not turning to face me, so I'm just going to go to the uh, right a little bit more. And there you go, we're shooting his engines. Probably a little bit of an oversight from him there, but it's okay. Well, I still have to get through the armor, though. Okay, let's keep this journey going. Oh, Lasher, that guy cannot escape in time. Let's kill that guy quickly. Oh, no! Oh, no! What the? That's taking me from miles away. I was confused about the range. I was like, how am I being hit this far away? Well, that's awkward. Um, <laughs> that is very high range Mjolnir cannons. That's, what is the range of that then? 2,600. The base range of that gun is normally 900. So that's pretty impressive. Still hitting my uh, engines. Oh no. Oh good, they've overloaded it. I can't move, by the way. <laughs> oh, we're back. Okay, screw it. I'm getting revenge on my poor engines there. How dare you nearly kill me, sir. If that onslaught decided to change uh, objective right there, it would have absolutely wiped me out. And... Hey there. Where did that wolf come from? <laughs> He got out of there quick, though. He was not hanging around. And I did. Perfect. I think this is one of their last... I think they got another base after this, for this faction. I think they have one more heavy industry. We can check afterwards. Heavy industry is really the, probably the only important thing to really look at, to be honest. It doesn't matter if they have like 12 wells that have no shipyards, because they can't make any ships, they're not going to be doing anything. We done, guys? Perfect. Hope we get some supplies back from that as well. Loads of supplies, damn. Okay. So I definitely want this, without a doubt. It's going to be heavy casualties. Let's see if we can help fix that first. We'll just do a quick bombard on them. Um, ba -ba -ba. So unlike normal worlds, this guy actually has the maximum building. They have the high command. Transcendent Empire is possible only through an exceptional corp of officers and bureaucrats, given authority over the resources of entire star systems. An established high command allows military operations to be organized and executed across the sector. This is the thing you need if you want your faction to be like doing stuff everywhere. You need one of these to be like a, well, as it says, a transstellar empire. Now, definitely want that thing. What does it do? Um, increases ship weapon production by 50% and production by three units. It still causes pollution, though. Oh, that's... Oh, I can't believe that. Whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so we'll grab this fella. Oh, wrong one, wrong one. Uh, what am I doing, everybody? It's the, all the wrong buttons. Yes. Now I've got minimal, by the way, because I got rid of the uh, defenses, so that's very handy. Do you know what? Go back. You're going to help me kill yourselves by giving me more weapons so that I have more power. <laughs> the salvage yard. Oh, so I can use a salvage yard to build something. Interesting. It's like kind of like a one off. That's really cool.
And that's what you want to use relics for and ship components. That's awesome. And I could use that even though I don't even own the colony. That's really awesome for next time. Um, definitely very handy. Anyway, so I need to wait a day. I haven't got any good blueprints, so I'm still doesn't really help me at all. The only thing I can build is a conquest. And that's pretty much it. Well, I got the pirate ships, but they're not really gonna be any good, are they? So. Oh! Can I win this? It's gonna be a tough one, guys. It's gonna be a big battle. They actually got massive amounts of defenses. So I reckon we just stack the main ones. What we do first. Activate on. Google works. Kills a good 10% of them, I think. Deploy. I'm not sure what they're going to do. They may stack me with... I'll go for all the large quantities of them with a big deploy on these four. Oh, I can't get one. We must wait. They counter invade. I thought I was gonna stop it. Oh damn it, guys! I didn't realize. I thought I, was, I thought I had 14 days. I didn't realize it immediately launched. My bad. I didn't actually look. That. I literally thought it was fine. Um, that's very annoying for me, but it's okay. So they're winning. They're winning. They're winning. Well, that is pretty close. Let's deploy more over there. Or to move at the end. I've got so many supplies. I could just stack as much as I want. Let's just get you guys doing that. Yeah, so I just wanted to check though, What was this the last place they had? Was this the last? They got two. They have two heavy industries left in the game. Then they are out of there. This may take a while to actually finish this off, I'm not going to lie. It's may take a little bit of time. Uh, I can actually, what's this do? Juice ground defense by 70, uh, 30%, that's pretty handy. I'm sure they'll be fine. Hey everybody, what I'll do between episodes, uh, I'm going to just deal with this one off camera because it's going to take a while to actually take the space. Actually, no, we'll wait. I think we can do it. We are very close to actually winning this one. And what I'll do, I'll, my next episode will probably be the last one, just so people realise what's happening. And we will try and take down the, the anime faction on their main fortress. We might get some cool battles with that because it's going to be their main base. At least I hope so anyway. Uh, as for this place though, Water dive. Cool. Let's turn this into another one of my autonomous locations. And I will just end it right here, everybody. Thank you for watching. As uh, always, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.